I often have people uh, say to me, oh, I wish you were running for office or I wish you would serve in uh, Donald Trump's uh, administration. And I tell them that I don't believe that's what God has called me to do. I believe he's called me uh, to hold politicians accountable. And what I try to do is to apply uh, the truths as I understand them, my knowledge as a scholar, my biblical worldview to the conditions that are taking place in the world. And I think it's important for us to be bold, to be fearless as much as possible. And I'm hoping that through the platform that God has given me, that he will use me to reach more people, to raise up others that feel the way I do. I love America. And as a black person, that shocks some people. They think that because I'm black, I'm supposed to uh, hate my country. I love America. I have been able to attain the American dream through the grace of God. And many of the people, most of the people, almost all the people that have helped me along the way have been people that did not look like me. They were not the same race. They were not the same sex. And uh, I have been tremendously blessed. And I want to see other people blessed. And it's not about race. It's not about uh, ethnicity. Um, it's not even about political party. It's about being Americans, and we all need to be Americans, and we need to love each other. And I know that that gets overplayed, uh, but it's never overplayed. We as Americans have to love each other. We have to love other people, and we have to make public policy with our heads and not totally with our hearts. We need rational public policy makers, and we need to make some hard choices number of things that we all can do as Americans. And for those of us that are Christians, you can pray, you can fast. This is a critical election. We need all hands on deck. And it's not about race. It's about us as Americans standing up, doing the right thing, fighting for what we truly, truly believe in. We're fighting for our children. We're fighting for our grandchildren. We do want to make America great. America is a great nation, or at least it was, we want to make it even greater. We want to restore the freedoms that have made us the envy of the rest of the world. Thank you for watching Hometowns and Heroes in Golfing Country. And if you would, give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, we'd sure like to hear them. Thank you.